let's talk about Europe's new AI law in plain English. On August 1st, 2024, the EU turned on its first ever AI rulebook. A few months later, on February 6, 2025, they made it clear that if your software ever uses one of the methods in Annex 1, whether it's neutral network crunching data, a rule-based expert system following logical steps, or even a statistical trick like Bayesian estimation, then it counts as AI under the law. It doesn't matter where your company is based or where your servers live. If your chatbot runs in Frankfurt, let's say, but is built in San Francisco, or your recommendation engine operates from Tokyo, but serves customers in Paris, you are covered the moment your AI touches a European user. Under the Act, every AI tool falls into one of three buckets. The first bucket is an acceptable risk. These are systems that secretly manipulate people's behavior or use real-time face recognition in public, and they've been banned outright since February 1st, 2025. The second bucket is high risk, which includes things like hiring algorithms, credit scoring engines, medical diagnosis tools, or critical infrastructure controls. Those have to go through official audits, keep detailed technical records, have a human checking every important decision, and be monitored continuously once they are live. The third bucket is everything else, your chatbots, image generators, or big language models, and those simply need a clear label by August 1st, 2025, that tells users you are now interacting with AI. If you're still wondering what to do, here's the simplest path forward. First, I would advise to pull together a small team from legal, compliance, IT, and your top management. That group should list every single AI model or service that reaches European users. As they go, they should mark each one as banned, high risk, or general purpose. Next, reach out right away to accredited audit bodies to lock in slots for the high risk systems because those calendars fill up fast. While that's happening, set up straightforward templates called model cards to record where your data comes from, how you measure performance, and what steps you've taken to reduce bias. Make sure every critical decision in a high-risk system has a human signing off on it, and build a simple dashboard to watch for any drift or problems once those models are live, and can even get you better insurance terms. Other regions in the world are starting to draft similar laws too, so getting this right in Europe will put you ahead of the curve everywhere else.